Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we're going to be looking at some Juice Beauty products. This is something lots of you have asked me about so I'm going to be covering some of their skincare and makeup products that I have. So uh, let's begin. Two things we need to cover first. The first one is that I've had some kind of reaction to something I've been using or doing kind of on my forehead and a little bit here and it's given me this like orange peel effect to my skin that you can see when I kind of move it around the light. It's not like horrific because it's not breakouts, it's just like awful lumpy texture. I do think it is kind of like coming out, I'm able to kind of like exfoliate it now so I think it will be gone in probably a couple days but <laughs> that's what that is. And then the other thing is what am I drinking? Berry LaCroix. So speaking of crappy skin, let's begin with uh, skincare. I will list and link all the products I'm showing you on their store, but you can also find some of their stuff on Petit Vore if you prefer to shop there for the um, points. So I will link you to the Juice Beauty page on Petit Vore as well. I've actually had a lot of Juice Beauty samples in my Petit Vore subscription box over the years, and that is how I found out about a few of their items. So I have actually tried a little bit more than what I'm showing you today. I just have used it all up. So I'm just showing you the things that I have tangibly here. Okay, <clears throat> wow. Um, I've also had some caffeine today and I'm quite tired, so that's always a good combo. So I don't have any cleansers from them, but the first thing I wanted to mention, which is also one of my all-time favorites, is the Juice Beauty Green Apple Brightening Essence. Now, I've said this before, but I kind of thought essences were like a pointless skincare step. I didn't really understand them until I tried this. I think of it as kind of like a balancing hydrating layering item in your skincare. So in the mornings I will apply this after I have cleansed and used um, salicylic acid on my face. I'll then put this on, follow with a serum if I want to or just a moisturizer. And then in the nighttime I will apply this on freshly cleansed skin and then follow up with any serums and stuff like that then. The scent of this is honestly incredible. It smells like kind of like a garden like a garden cocktail. It makes me want cocktails every time I smell it, which is twice a day. So I guess that's its only downside. But yeah, I really do like this product. I have found it's made my skin feel a little firmer and more hydrated. And it's nice to be able to layer with this too because it's so light. So you don't feel like you have a ton of products on your skin. And I would definitely recommend this one, especially if you are kind of looking into essences and you're unsure of it. I would say this is, this was a great one to start with and possibly finish with because I don't plan on trying anymore. So this next one is their Green Apple Full Green Apple Peel Full Strength. I just had a moment where I couldn't read. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what happened. Mmm, I forgot how good this smells. So this is a kind of jelly-ish consistency. I apply this onto clean skin and then I leave it on for, I think, like 10 minutes, does that sound right? Yeah, 10 minutes. You can get a little flushing and redness with it. If it feels severe in any way, I would obviously remove it, but I just find my skin feels a little warm and then once I have removed it and finished my skincare, my skin feels kind of like so, taut and smooth. So this is one I like to use probably about once a week and yeah I found it to be really awesome. This is one that I had a sample of in my Petit Vore subscription box and I think the whole green apple range is meant to be quite like brightening so if you have any kind of discoloration or you just feel like your skin is looking a little dull or drab or maybe has a little bit of texture to it this is a really nice range I've found to use for those things. Okay now this bad boy is the Green Apple Age Defy Moisturizer. This is definitely a product that I have I expected to love as much as I do. I really do love everything I've tried from that range. I haven't tried a cleanser, so maybe a cleanser should be the next thing I pick up, but everything smells so fresh and kind of apple-y. Yeah, just like a really good cocktail. Typically with the other kind of like anti-wrinkle, age defy or whatever moisturizers like that I've tried before, they can be very thick on the skin. So if you have kind of mixed concerns like I do, where I do want to start using some anti-aging products, I've been using them since I was about 12, so I mean that's a lie, I haven't just recently wanted to start using them, I just genuinely enjoy using them. But if you do have anti-aging concerns as well as maybe breakouts or as well as oily skin or combo skin or just other issues, I would say this is a really good one because it does sink in quite quickly and it is quite light and I don't find it to be heavy or clogging on the skin, but it does make my skin look extremely smooth. So this is one I will use day or night and I've really enjoyed it, so maybe I'll pop a little on right now. And you don't need to apply very much either. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's kind of like somewhere between a gel and a cream, so it does sink in very quickly, doesn't leave um, residue on the skin, and I really enjoy it. Something I'm not enjoying is this texture on my forehead. 
A little sample I had from Petit Vor is the Stem Cellular Booster Serum. This is another one I was super impressed with but hadn't really been like expecting to be in love with. So the serum itself is kind of like a gel. So again, I love it because it sinks in quickly. Like gels I think are especially good for kind of oily or combo skin because they don't leave a ton of residue on your face and they do sink in really nicely. So it's meant to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and is packed with their proprietary blend of fruit stem cells and vitamin C and a bunch of other things. So it's really meant to kind of boost the skin and enhance the skin tone. Obviously I've only had the sample size of this so I can't say how it works long term but um, I did really like the sample I had so I wanted to mention it. And then the last kind of skincare item I have from them is one that I got in last month's Petit Vore subscription box which I believe is a full size. And this is the Green Apple Age Defy Hand Cream. Hands are something that we often forget, aren't they? So I think it's nice to kind of give them the extra boost by using something that is meant for anti-aging. So I'm just going to put some on now. Mm, it feels so nice, leaves your hands super soft, but they're not slimy and no residue. Everything that I've tried skincare wise from Juice Beauty all does smell kind of like a garden, but it doesn't smell too herby, if that makes sense. Like it just all smells very fresh and light. And they're not really scents that I think anyone would particularly be like offended by or like wouldn't really like just because they are so fresh and they're not too heavy or fussy. So their stuff is a little scented, but I would say it's a really nice scent. All right, now we're done with that. Let's put some makeup on this face. So the first item I have, which is new to me, I have not tried it yet, is the Stem Cellular CC Cream, and I got this in the shade Warm Glow. This is meant to give age defying results. It has a sunscreen in it, so it's an SPF 30, and it's meant to do a bunch of things. Smooths and even texture. I need to put a lot of it right here. So the tube itself looks like this, and then the applicator. It's kind of like a giant version of those under eye ones, so yeah, it looks pretty pretty cool, pretty high end. I'm gonna try doing half with a beauty blender and half with a brush, um, half of my face that is. So this is the Alima Pure foundation brush. This is just an awesome brush, nice big size, makes easy work of applying basically anything I've used it with. I guess I'll squirt it out straight onto my face just because of this thing. I don't really know how far it goes, so <laughs> we'll see. All right, I'll try that much for now. We'll see how far it smudges around my face. Some sunscreens work a little bit better when you use your hands, so we will see how this goes, but let's, um... Oh, it smells nice. Doesn't smell like sunscreen, so that's always a bonus. Oh, this is hand doing. Hi. That's pretty nice. Feels nice on the skin, just feels like a moisturizer. Um, there's obviously not a ton of coverage, but it just, just kind of give the skin a nice glow and kind of evens out a little bit so let's try it on this giant forehead this thing actually feels quite nice because it's cold so uh, just trying to go around my eyebrows so I don't have to redo them okay so very sheer coverage but it does look very pretty let's try it with a beauty blender on this side I'm not expecting this to be the best way to apply it because it is a little thicker of a consistency and I usually do like to really buff um, SPF products in, so we'll see. So I think if you are going to use a beauty blender, you might want to apply it a little bit with a brush first, like maybe use a little foundation brush and kind of map it out a bit and then use a beauty blender. Otherwise, I think that you may have a hard time getting a good even coverage with it just because it is a little bit of a thicker product. Like I said, I have had that kind of reaction, so it is kind of hard to gauge how much I would like it, but I do think that it does give a pretty look to the skin. It's a nice color. I'm going to try applying just a little bit more with my fingers and see how that goes. I'm just going to put a couple more dots here. I'm also going to try and turn the brightness down a little. You might be able to get a better feel for it then with it a little bit less bright, but we'll see. Kind of feels a little serum-y on the skin actually. I don't typically like applying things with my hands just because I don't like how they feel on my hands after. Kind of feel a little icky, but 
some products are better applied with hands. So obviously quite a sheer coverage, most CC creams and stuff like that are. It's not buildable coverage by any means, it's just very minimal coverage. I can update you on how it wears if you want, but honestly, CC creams and stuff like that, they're not the longest lasting. It's kind of hard to gauge if they're still on your skin or not at the end of the day because they're such light coverage already. So um, it feels good, I think it's nice that it has the SPF 30. I think the little applicator thing was kind of neat, nice little touch, and yeah, I like it. And I could definitely see myself reaching for this, so yeah. I do not have a concealer from them, unfortunately. I kind of thought that I did, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some concealer off camera, and then I'll be right back to play with some more stuff. All right, so now I've got a little bit of concealer on, we're gonna move on to blush. Now this is one that I've mentioned a bunch from Juice Beauty, and it's their Last Looks blush in the shade Orange Blossom. I definitely wanna pick up some other shades of this because I think they are gorgeous. My favorite way to apply this is with a small, kind of old school style foundation brush. So I just kind of brush it into it like this, and then to apply, I just tap it around the cheek area. So, let me show you. So I start here, and I really, take my time to work the product in. Now at first, you might get a lot of color and be like, oh my gosh, what have I done? Just keep blending. And I keep it just kind of on the apple to start with. Make sure it's really nicely blended in that area first. And then I kind of move it back over the surrounding area when there's less on the brush, or you can turn your brush to the other side and kind of pat it out if you do feel like you have applied too much. I really like it because it does add a little bit of color, blends in beautifully with other cream products, and I really do like this blush. I think it would be great for summer, great for people with freckles who want to keep their freckles showing. And yeah, I just think that the colors are beautiful. They're very vibrant, but also very wearable and layerable. For me, I would say this is a must try product from them if you are gonna try something. I'm not even someone who particularly liked cream blushes for the longest time. I found them really difficult to wear, but I think since I've kind of embraced lighter coverage foundations and stuff or even just skipping foundation, these are really beautiful and give a beautiful look to the skin. So another nice way to apply would be to apply with the fingers, but I just kind of like this brush because it means I don't have to touch sticky stuff. And of course you can just keep building up however much you want because it is nice, nicely layerable without getting too sticky or heavy on the skin. Before I move on to some of the eye products, I'm just gonna add a little bit of setting powder around my face. I do not have one from them, unfortunately. So I'll be right back. So the next product I wanted to show you, which I did already have one of and really liked, so I picked up a couple more colors. This is their Phyto Pigments Cream Shadow Stick. This one is very limp, so it's a little dirty. And this is in the shade Stone. I'm gonna swatch them on my palm for you so you can see them. Um, I would swatch them elsewhere, but I've got too many tattoos. Honestly, that's basically the only insult that I would be like, fair enough. When it comes to tattoos, of someone being like, wow, you will never be able to be a professional swatcher now you have all of them. I'd be like, you know what, you're right, I messed up. I got palms still. So these are the shades Bay, Haze, and stone. Um, Bay is a very light kind of champagne color, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that on my brow bone. See what it looks like. This one's gonna be a little hard to see for you because it is very close to my skin color, so I'm just underlining my brows with this. Should give me a nice natural highlight. It's not gonna be super glowy, um, and it's also not gonna give me that kind of harsh undercut look either hoping it will be a nice natural look considering what I found with the color I already had. And I'm just going to use an Alima Pure uh, uh, all over shadow brush for this. And they're nice and kind of creamy and workable but not too slippery so it's just going to give you a nice kind of glowy look under the brow. That looks really pretty actually. And you could apply this to the whole lid. I think it would probably make quite a nice base for any makeup or you could just leave it as it was for a kind of slightly perfected natural look. Okay, and then stone I have used before. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use haze for a nice kind of warm bronzy look, hopefully. And I think I'm just gonna do it all over the lid so you can get a good look at the color. Ooh. Oh, let's have a look at how much product you get in there. Okay, this is still going. Wow. Okay, this is a new one by the way. The only times I've used it is when I swatched it on my hand and the little bit I did just then. So you get a pretty decent amount of product in there. Some similar products when you kind of work them up you get like <laughs> that much but that was impressive. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, so I have just kind of scribbled it on in a vague shape. I'm gonna use that same brush again and just blend it out a little bit around the outside. That is a really nice color, very natural looking. The other place I've used the stone one is on my waterline and it worked <laughs> just fine. But this is a really nice kind of glowy, glossy bronze shade. I think this would be beautiful for a very kind of no makeup makeup look. Super easy because I'm literally just like scribbling it on and then blending it out. A lot of the more kind of like creamy blendable products out there will contain beeswax and if you are vegan then you most likely will be avoiding that. So these cream products like the blush and these I think are awesome and obviously it's great that they are vegan too. I'm just going to apply a little bit under the lash. So if you are a cream product fan or maybe you are kind of embracing creams because your skin is maybe now a little more mature or maybe it's dry, I do think that these are lovely and give a really nice glowy kind of youthful look to the skin that they're on. I do have fairly greasy lids so I am going to take a little bit of setting powder and just gently pat it over the crease because... I know I'm gonna get creasy there. So depending on your eye shape or what look you want, you might not have to do this, but a little setting powder is definitely something I need for my eye shape, skin type, etc. Next up, I have a product that I'm super excited to try from them. It's their mascara. So it's their Phyto Pigments Ultra Natural Mascara. As with the rest of their stuff, the packaging is super sleek and kind of expensive feeling. It feels quite heavy. And then the brush itself is kind of spiral and looks like this. I don't know if you can see, but it is sort of spirally looking. I don't really try out a ton of mascaras considering my job. I'm gonna usually stick to what I know and love, so we'll see how this one goes. So after doing that one eye, I will say I don't think that the design of the brush, the twirly thing, is useful in any way. I think it would maybe have been better off if it was just a kind of small brush like this. The uh, spiral aspect of it wasn't helpful to me whatsoever. Now I always have to do a little clean up on my eyes when I apply mascara. I think it's just the shape of my eyes maybe or um, I don't know. I don't think it's particularly volumizing. It obviously is nice and black and I will see how it lasts on the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. The other thing I will say is I don't typically love new mascaras because I feel like they usually work better after they're a little dried out or used up anyway. So this one might just be like a little too wet for me. You know what I'm saying? Then all I really have left to show you are some lip products. So I have two of their luminous lip crayons. I've mentioned these a bunch before. They're just a super easy way of getting a nice amount of color on the lips. I'll just show you these shades. So you have Venice on top and then Malibu underneath. Both really pretty options. These are definitely a nice easy one to throw in your bag, like I said, they just give you a nice amount of color, they're super comfortable on the lips, and I really do love these. And then I have two of their glosses to show you. This first one is Shimmer, it's just kind of a clear nudie gloss with a little shimmer through it. You can't really even see it, it's just a kind of clear nudie gloss. And then this newer one I got is their Sheer Lip Gloss in Bikini, which I'm going to use, actually, I'm gonna pair it with Malibu. So the crayons do give you a little amount of gloss already, but I am going to layer this on. So for a gloss, they are quite a thin consistency, I will say. So you are going to have to apply it more, but if you are someone who doesn't like sticky, thick glosses, these are an awesome option. So the glosses are super comfy, like I said, a little thinner, so you're going to need to apply them more. That's just how glosses go. And the crayons, I think, are awesome and definitely a great one, like I said, to keep in your purse. They're just an easy way to throw on some color and feel a little more zhuzhed. Uh, and you could probably put it on your cheeks too, if you wanted to. Let's, um, should we try that? I will put a little bit of Malibu on my cheekies. It's gonna be creamier than the blush, but um, they are just nice creamy products, so use it wherever you want. So this is the finished look using those Juice Beauty products. Very kind of natural, creamy, sheer, glowy, really beautiful products, and of course I do love their skincare, like I've said 
a few times. <laughs> so if you do have any questions on any of the products, definitely let me know in the comments. Like I said, everything will be linked and listed below. If you are a very natural makeup person or you wanna get a bit more into kind of the no makeup makeup look, I think they're a great place to start. And they do have some really awesome products. So do let me know what you'd like to see next on my channel. Like I said, any questions, suggestions, whatever you wanna leave in the comments. All my social media will be below as well. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, and if you did enjoy this and found it useful in any way, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Turn the notifications on. Add me on all of my social media so I can remind you when I put videos up. I don't know. Bye!